Another one that would have certainly ended up on my best Indian movies of last year list. Welcome to Mukundanuni Associates. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage, I have reviewed more than 400 Indian movies on the channel and today I want to talk about the 2022 Malayalam language black comedy crime film Mukundan Uni Associates. It marks the feature length directorial debut by Abhinav Sundar Nayak who also co-wrote and co-edited the film. And it stars Veena Srinivasan as the titular character Mukundan Uni, a legal advocate who strives to be successful. I haven't seen Vinit Srinivasan in many roles and I think this is the first time I have seen him in a lead role, but I still think I can say that it must be one of his best performances. He absolutely nails this character and it's his film, as Mukundan Uni is in basically each and every scene of it. It has been compared to Dan Gilroy's Nightcrawler starring Jack Gyllenhaal, but it's certainly not a direct remake. It's adapting the premise, the basic concept and putting it in a different setting. It's the story of a man who would do absolutely anything to achieve his goals. A man desperate for success, who has lost or maybe never developed any kind of human compassion or morality. And yet, he is also very relatable, because we all grow up in a society that tells us that we can all be successful if we only put in hard work, dedication, perseverance and discipline. It's the false promise that anyone can be successful. But the real world doesn't really play by these rules and there are a lot more factors involved. For one, luck. But also the fact that very successful people oftentimes got a success through the exploitation of others or through the mechanisms of an inhumane system. Mukundan Uni Associates had me from the beginning. It is told completely through Venus Srinivasan's perspective. He's our narrator and he's not only narrating the story, which is his story, but he basically comments each and every scene that we see which is oftentimes hilarious. Because there's this juxtaposition of someone who can be still seen as halfway decent from the outside, but who's an absolute sociopath on the inside. Mukundan Uni is 30 years old. Or rather, he has been 30 years old for quite some time now. Because if you haven't made it before you turn 30, you're basically regarded as a failure. And that's something he simply can't accept. Where Jack Gyllenhaal's character Nightcrawler finds his calling in exploiting human tragedy by covering accidents and selling the material to news stations, Mukundan Uni finds his calling in exploiting human tragedy by approaching the victims of accidents and making a ton of money through medical insurance claims. And once he has understood how that system can work in his favor, he puts his whole body and soul into it. If he even has something you can call a soul. There's really not a moment in there in which he questions the morality of what he's doing. He's a completely egotistical, self-absorbed, narcissistic person with no remorse and no compassion for anyone. Not even really for himself, if that makes sense. He's totally convinced of himself, yet at the same time also willing to die on the spot if he can't be successful. Because if you can't be successful, what's the point of living at all? Director Abhinav Sundanayak really nails that black comedy tone. Mukundan Uni Associates is a film that had me entertained and had me smiling throughout. It might be a bit one note, but there's enough there to carry it for two hours. Because it walks that fine line of us finding our lead protagonist totally pathetic and loathworthy and yet relatable as well. Somehow we are rooting for him and rooting against him at the same time. They also find a nice balance of showing his cunning nature, but then basically never really succeeding on the first attempt because he overlooked something or because he underestimated his opponent. A highlight of the film is also the dynamic between him and Suraj Venjaramudu's character Venu, who he first gets inspired by before he becomes his arch nemesis. Their banter is great and the film is also really playful when it comes to its form. I already mentioned the never-ending voiceover narration or commentary of our protagonist, which makes us kind of an accomplice in his evil deeds, but there are also some more surreal moments sprinkled in, as well as some animated elements and a neat play on the aspect ratio. As the movie begins in a narrow 4x3 format, then changes to a wider 16x9 when Mukundun Uni really embarks on his new path, before it turns really cinematic for the ending. 
And again, it all works so well because Venus Universal is completely committed to the role and some of his inner monologues are just so much fun. It's his delivery, the comedic timing and how the character is written. It is just really funny how pathetic he is. How he always has this super competitive urge in each and every situation. For example, when he learns that the fiancé of his subordinate has a better job than his girlfriend. It drives him nuts. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed Mukundan Uni Associates. It feels fresh and dynamic and it's just really entertaining. It might get a bit repetitive and like I said it's rather one note, but the direction, the lead performance and the sense of humor makes this well worth your time if you're into black comedies like this. So in German I'd say, Mukundan Uni Associates is eine bitterböse schwarze Komödie mit einem Wiener Zürnivasan in best form. Abgründig, kritisch und einfach ziemlich unterhaltsam. I give Mukundan Uni Associates 8 out of 10. It's more like 7.6, but I don't do that. I like this. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Mukunda and Uni Associates. And also, what is your favorite film with Wiener Zuni Vazan? You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterbox, and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.